guys, welcome to TCR, Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I wanna to talk to you about three things that you can do to be prepared when you have limited time, space, and money. And make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. So a lot of people wanna be a little bit more self-sufficient and a little bit more prepared nowadays with everything that's going on. Let's talk about a couple easy, cheaper things that you can do to kind of get rolling and feel a little bit more prepared. The first thing is get yourself some chickens. Now, chickens, you can have a few of them that are dual purpose. You can use them for meat and for eggs. Plus, they'll also eat a lot of your kitchen scraps and things that you would end up throwing out that you're then able to feed to them and help supplement your feed bill, especially if you're not able to have them free range if you really have a very limited space. If you have an even more limited space or you're in an area that doesn't allow for chickens, consider getting quail. So consider this 1A, all right? Quail, most places don't have any restrictions when it comes to them because they're very quiet. They require a very small space. In fact, you can even raise them in your garage or on a back patio. They'll stay in a just a very small upright thing. You'll be able to get eggs and meat and breed them as well, just as you would chickens because, well, who doesn't need some eggs and some meat? Well, maybe vegans. The second thing that I recommend doing is starting a small garden. Now, if you've got a little bit of backyard space where maybe you have a, a patch of grass right now, build yourself some garden boxes uh, or just start planting things in the ground and get a small garden going with some vegetables. This way you'll be able to start supplementing during different times of the year with different types of vegetables that you can learn how to can, cook, or freeze how you want, when you want. And you'll be able to supply some of your own food and save a little bit of money because seeds are cheap. Now, if you have extremely limited space and don't have a backyard, maybe you only have a balcony or a window, consider doing 2A microgreens in your window. Again, seeds are cheap. You do have to invest in some trays, but, and potentially some grow lights if you're in an area that doesn't get any sun, but you can definitely do it and add some healthy greens to your diet. One of our personal favorites to grow is broccoli because you can grow it in the spring and in the fall and kind of double your crops out of it that way. Plus a broccoli plant, you can eat the whole thing, the crown, the leaves, the stalks, everything. You can use it in soups and stews and the leaves are really nice to uh, add to a stir fry as well. Now in the spring and summer, you're free to plant other things like your squashes. Many of you think of yellow crookneck squash or zucchini when you think of squash, but let's not forget those things that are more shelf stable. These things like butternut, spaghetti squash, and blue hubbards can sit on a shelf for quite a while, several months actually, before you really have to do anything with them, making them a great crop for a prepper. So third and arguably the most important would be water, right? We can't live without it. So short of being able to do a rain dance, you gotta make sure you have some on hand. Now, that could vary depending on your situation, whether it's just storing cases of bottled water or getting storage bottles like this to fill with just tap water to keep on hand, or if you live by a river or a stream or a pond, or if you've got a pool in the backyard, make sure you have some survival straws so you can drink through it and convert that water or some kind of filter system. It's time for my bonus tip. Now, remember, if you're growing some of your own vegetables and raising some of your own either chickens or quail with, for meat and eggs, that's now currency. In a situation where things are really bad and your money isn't really worth anything, having something like that to be able to trade with someone for something that you need is a definite plus. It gives you that little bit of an edge because you have a supply of it and they need it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications.